Welcome back to 1960s Farming Guys. This is a series where we literally roleplay the 1960s. We harvested last episode and we got a lot of corn to knock out yet. And check this out. We just bought a new combine, a second new combine. So we're going to run two combines because we have the labor and we have a little bit of money and we'll be able to get through harvest faster. So we sold one of ours and we got this one. Also guys, just a reminder, keep in mind American farming is coming soon. We're super, super close. We just want to get it perfect for you guys. Don't want to release it with too many bugs. And I will let you guys know as soon as we get that released. Let's turn on the radio here. We got about a mile or two back to the farm and we should be there. So we're going to find a station. Welcome back to 1040 WHO. You got Big Mike here. We just got done covering the Iowa football game. Iowa just got their butt hand to them by Michigan State and lost 35-0. Lining up in the shotgun. We got Jude snapped back. He's going to be rolling out to his right. He's looking for a man. Can't do it. The pocket's closing in. Iowa's closing in. Nope, can't do it. Goes up. He's going to launch it into the corner. And he's got a man. It's Washington. Washington for the touchdown. They're going to be getting the Spartan touchdown. Leading up 13-0 here going into the half. Spartans up big. Well, that was a tough loss. You guys heard it. Michigan State played good. Iowa, another rough game. We got Larry calling in out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Larry, what do you think of that game? I tell you what, Big Mike, I, I'm getting so sick and tired of this Larry Burns guy. This, I don't even remember what his name is anymore. Jerry Burns, we need to get the, get this guy out of here. I'm sick and tired of it. We had four losing seasons. The secondary is absolutely terrible. They just attacked us through the air the whole time. At this point, I'm almost ready to go across the river and start cheering for the big red state. If, by golly, they actually get something done over there. I'm just sick and tired of the BS. I want this out of here, and let's start a new, get, get a new guy in here and try and rebuild this thing. I, I, I couldn't agree more, Larry. Larry, thanks for calling in. Thanks for your time. How you doing? Doing good. You know what's not doing good? What? The Iowa Hawkeyes. They just lost again to the Spartans. They got one win this year, Nate. One win. That's it. I know. That's why I quit watching football. I've decided I'm not watching football until they get better. I stopped watching them. But I'm like, well, listen to them on the radio, and it was just a mess. Larry out of Cedar Rapids, he called in again, and he's just always complaining. Well, everybody complains. That's all they do. But I can't even complain too much with this new purchase right here. I got me a 69 Dodge Charger. You got a 69? I was wondering who that was. I was like, that's not your sugar mama, is it? No, it's mine. I've been working my butt off for the trucking company. It cost me $20,000. Gosh, That's big dang. money. So I finally got me this beautiful thing. Can I take it for a spin? Yeah, go for it. Don't you wreck her. Trust me. Buck, Buck trusts me with all of his cars. We're good. That's where you're driving, bozo. You want to race? No. Okay, let's get on her a little bit. Throw her second gear. <laughs> Doing triple digits. Okay, probably not past the high school. There's always a cop sitting out there. Buck, what do you say? 50 bucks on this race. From our driveway 50, 50 to the high bucks. school. That's my whole week's salary. I know. It's not even your car. Even if you win, you don't, you don't even get to keep the whole thing. Nate, will you let me kick Buck's, Buck's butt? Yeah, as long as I get to keep the money. Deal. All right, boys. There'll be no punching, no kicking, nothing like that. All right, ready, set, go. Oh, he's got me. He's got me up the line. Come on, baby. We're coming for you, Buck. We got uh. him. We got him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, now. Can you not take my car through the ditch? We'll get you your 50 bucks after your Buck gets back. Yeah, 50 bucks on a $20,000 car. Okay, yay. Yeah, and there goes your 50 bucks right for the new paint job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's our second combine we bought. Nate's going to get her unloaded here. And we're probably going to run two combines on corn right now. We'll have somebody run wagons and try to keep up. Pretty much everything is going into the bins, though. So we'll just use this auger. We'll get a higher price come January. There you go. Get up there. <laughs> oh, no, look no, at his hand in the steering wheel. <laughs> no, oh, my gosh, dude. Some quick reaction, Nate. There you go. Buck, you get to have fun this time with this. Oh, oh, well. So next thing we gotta do is get that, get an auger tractor set up on that auger. We actually trade augers and got a different auger, and so this one requires a tractor on it. Bring her on back. You're good. Lift her up a little bit more. I'm gonna get on the road. I'm gonna head to the field, boys. Okay. Come back here. Come on, come on. Right about there. Pull up, pull up. Forward. Forward, not forward. Oh, forward. You said pull up. Back up. By the inch, I didn't know that's I didn't know that's backing up by an inch. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, right there, right there, right there. Leave her alone. 
What is in that guy's coffee this morning? Jeez, somebody's a little moody. Okay, we'll jump in the Chevy. We got the auger all set up for Buck there. And uh, got the tractor run. And we'll go jump in the combine and get going. I think Buck's gonna have a hard time keeping up with us. And neighbor's got still got some beans ready to get harvested. We've got about half of our beans out so far. I'll park behind Buck's little half car, half truck, El Camino here. He never uses it. He always uses my truck when he needs to do truck stuff, but I get it, I understand. Okay, we got the combine rolling, digging into our first corn here. Some good yielding stuff. I mean, this stuff's taller than the combine. Now, the difference between our combines is the one we had has duels, and I really like the duels the better. It feels a lot more stable on like side hills. Nate's just has big floaters on it. So it'll be interesting around the comparison. I'm gonna try and harvest this field so my auger is always on the outside so Buck can unload whenever he needs to unload here. There Buck goes, hopefully I don't hit him. There they go. And there goes the train. They're probably hauling a lot of grain out of Cargill over there. And here rental man Buck comes. All right, here we go. A little more Buck, a little more. There we go. Buck, I'm gonna turn left here, so you just stop for a sec. Don't wanna hit the train here. Okay, make the turn with me if you can. Oh yeah, we are rolling the Johnny Bros. There we go, Buck. How's Alice pulling her? Like a dream. And we got rental man Buck alone us again. Buck, is your front wagon full? Yeah. I got about half of it left. Uh, I got about half a tank left in that back one. So there we got the neighbors over there. It looks like they got a, is that a farm all? Or an international, like a 706 or 806. And then they got a, I can't tell what combine that is. I think that's a similar deer combine to us, but they got some pretty big bins. I forgot their last names, but they farm, they farm a pretty good amount of acres over there. There we go. We are rolling. We got Nate unloading into Buck and then Buck will just fall back and I'll unload into him once he's done. So, fun fact, I didn't know this. Did you know our other two fields are green still? Yeah, we still got a ways. It's some later maturity corn. We'll have to switch to beans probably and then come back to corn. Buck, we need to get another Alice D21, man. If you see one up at auction, let me know. Or we could save money and actually have money to pay for food. What do you mean? We got food right here. I'm growing it, man. We are officially done with that cornfield. Well, hold on. Got a little bit yet that we missed. We're gonna park the combine stuff up here. We don't have any more corn ready, so we gotta get switched over to beans on this combine. But we're gonna go meet the new neighbors over there. Buck's getting her unloaded. We got corn in the bin. Let's check how many liters we got. 69,000 liters, just about. I think this bin's gonna be full pretty soon. Nate, getting her washed up? Yep, getting her, getting all the dust stuff on that pulled off it. What do you think about a little pressure washer? I like it. International IH 355. Give you a little bath up there. Ooh, thank you. Bro. I haven't showered in 10 days. Appreciate it. I know, I can smell it. Okay, so we haven't showed you guys the neighbor's place yet. There's like a couple other guys on here on the server that have their own farms, like kind of spread out. I'm hoping we can record a video with them eventually. We just got to line up the times, but they're on here. They're farming. They're growing a crop. They're getting money. I actually like how they did their driveway. That's smart with a bunch of grass and stuff. But I think Nate knows the story behind them. They're an old horse farming group. The guy who owns it, his grandfather did horses and his father did horses. Now he's doing horses and it's kind of what they just love to do. They love to do horse farming. They got a D21. Fuck. They got an Alice. Buy it off of them. Take it. We need a second one. I like the layout of this farm though. Like you got the pasture mm -hmm. fence. You got the bins uphill. Like it's did a nice job building this thing. I like all the grass too. It makes it feel very old school. Ah, oh, they got two combines too. They've been used a lot though. Yeah, I remember the other day seeing them out here. Actually, I think legitimately yesterday over here harvesting this field. So hmm. they were getting those beans knocked out. Yeah, they got narrow row crops on here, it looks like. I feel like the compaction's gonna be pretty big with those, just those narrow row crops. Singles yeah. like that. Oh my yeah. gosh, what is this? A 50-20 duels weighted out. You guys seen their auger tractor? It's a dual Moline. Uh-uh. Hey, they got a 1206 farm all too. Oh yeah, they got a dual Moline. 1355. Pretty much everything they have has duels on it. What is up with this? I guess, I guess they like duels, but yet they don't like them on their harvesters? Ex yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Throw duels on the uh, auger uh, tractor, gosh darn it, why not? Oh, now this is interesting. Oh, they got a nice grain truck. That's a new... Man, what year yeah, is that, a lot of... 67? I'm not too sure what year it is. <laughs> Nate, you probably should get off their horses, man. Last one back to the farm has to sweep all the bins out. <laughs> oh, here Nate comes. Crashing and burning. Oh, how did he not hit something? <laughs> okay, so we made a bit of a mistake and we put some grain in the bin and we actually need some cash right now because we harvest some corn, but we're going to chop some silage also. And we need some money to be able to buy silage chopping equipment. And Nate just ran a two second harmir dash right there. I need to move this so that way we can get the spout underneath there to unload, to load up bucks' um, wagons. What we really need is just a truck auger instead of having this big long auger. Okay, Buck, keep going, man. Uh, okay. I don't know why we wouldn't put it in the thing that has more capacity for load, but okay. It's fine, we're just going short distance. Should be good. Start filling over some corn, and we'll get Buck loaded up here. There we go. And he's full. Where am I going with this? Uh, headed into town, to Eaton. The grain elevator? Yep. Okay, we're gonna get Nate 706 out since we got the 4020 on the auger. I gotta get the duels off of here because in order to pull up next to that uh, harvester silo, it's kind of nice to have the duels off. And yes, this is a crazy unique tractor. 706, front wheel assist. I don't even know if this was a thing in real life. And while we're kind of getting the duels off, it looks like Buck just got done hauling some grain. Oh, I love that shifting animation, man. I love it. So they gave me about uh, just a little under 16, uh, well, yeah, 16.5 for that load for both carts. So we just want to load back up and head back into town with another one then. We should be good. We'll save our money. We should have enough for uh, silage equipment. We'll save the rest of our money for um, when prices are a little better. Okay, and we got the duels off the 706. Me and Buck are going to run wagons, and Nate's probably going to run the silage chopper. We're just renting a silage chopper from a neighbor, actually, which is kind of nice. So Nate's getting that lined up, and then we'll actually have to purchase the wagons with our money right now. Okay, we're just getting home turning in. Buck's screaming that he has some issues with his wagon back there. Both these wagons are pretty messed up, guys. I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, okay, guys, so new plan. Here's what we're doing. We realize... Uh, the Killsboro wagons will hold chaff, and so we're just going to use these. Now, realistically, we'd use wagons like we had. The silage boxes, forage boxes, whatever you want to call them. But those are messed up. So next video, we're going to actually get forage boxes in here. For now, we're gonna it's going to be a little weird. So what we're going to have to do is Nate's going to be chopping, and we're going to have to pull alongside of them, keep them going. So one of us is going to be holding back here while the other is going to be unloading Nate, and we'll just switch off, me and Buck, just trying to run these wagons back as fast as possible and unload into the silo. So that's Nate's chopper right there. It's called a Field Queen. We're going to take the B road over here. It is a little weird to be harvesting corn and then coming back and chopping silage, but we got some corn that's later maturity that is ready, that isn't ready to harvest, so we're going to take some silage. Okay, here we go. Nate's going to start chopping. And there we go. It's actually working. Wow. Oh, we are filling up quick, Buck. Buck, I don't know if we're going to have... Oh my gosh, we're filling up quick. Dude, the corn animation is pretty darn cool. Look at that. Are we just doing one fit or are we doing both these? Uh, just do both of them. Whatever is left, we'll just harvest for corn. Okay, we are 81% full. This is actually working like a ton better than I thought. As soon as I'm done, Buck's gonna take our place and we're not gonna miss a beat. 98, 99, all right, I'm out. If I can get out of here. I'm full. I know. Go, I'm He's here. Hold go. on, man. Go. Okay, I'm just stopping. You go, man. Keep going, Nate. It's, it's going. Go, Nate. There we go. Okay, that was a little bit of a cluster mess right there, but we'll learn ne better next time. Buck, you got a tree in front of you. I, I can see that. Oh. There we go. Oh. Now, now, we got to make it and unload before Buck's full. Otherwise, these can be stopped, and we cannot have that. Okay, we made it back to the harvester, and this should work. Please don't. There we go. So this will unload our chaff in the harvester, and it'll go like that. In American farming, this is pretty much the same way. So, like, you'll unload chaff from harvesting and then once it goes in the harvester in american farming it literally turns into what we call cattle feed and you just unload from the harvester feed your cattle out it's a little different than this but i'm mean, pretty much same concept okay front one's empty we'll scoot you up and unload the back one in american farming though like it's a grind to be able to like work your way up on the farm and stuff and i, I like games like that buck you on the cb 
Yeah, I can barely hear you though. We're going through the bumps. Okay, what you at right now? I'd say I probably have about 20% left in that back in that back cart, and that's about it. Okay, I should make it. Are you on the north side of the farm or west? We're on the right. We're on the far west side. Okay, we're, I'll we're be the over. east side of the field. And there goes Reynolds Man Buck. He's full for the load. Okay, we are rolling again. He's chomping, and hopefully Buck can make it back in time. We should be able to do about like a three-quarter lap around the field. Buck and Nate are finishing out. We are rolling on silage, but that's going to be an end for this video, guys. As always, check out Buck's and Nate's channel down below, and hey, we'll see you in the next one.